The Type 26 frigate will be a cornerstone of the future fleet for the Royal Navy. It will be the primary anti-submarine warfare surface combatant, working alongside the Type 45 air defence destroyers in protecting our submarines and our carrier task groups, projecting power for the UK, protecting our nation's vital interests and importantly providing that specialist anti-submarine defence to our other fleet assets. The ship is versatile because it has been designed from the keel up. There is the five inch gun on the front, there is the sea scepter missile system, there is the mission bay which can be configured in any number of ways, some of which I suspect we haven't even imagined yet, to increase the ability to operate on a global and deployable footprint. And then of course at the back there is a very, very big flight deck capable of taking a Chinook or a Merlin, uh, which again just broadens the range of jobs and responsibilities that that ship might carry out from high-end warfighting to evacuating personnel in the event of a hurricane or disaster relief type scenario. It's got a really flexible mission bay right in the middle of the ship. We can put four large boats in there, we can put a Merlin helicopter in there, we can put 10, 24 ISO containers of various sizes. We can mix and match between ISOs, boats and unmanned vehicles as well. It gives you choice, it gives the Navy choice, it gives politicians choice and it gives us options to, to grow in the future. So actually for me, the mission bay, the flexibility, the design, it's really the DNA of, of the Type 26. Not only is it a quiet ship, but it's a really flexible ship. Its primary role is anti-submarine warfare, it therefore forms a really important part of the carrier group, but it also forms a very important part in terms of making sure that the nuclear deterrent submarines can get out of port and back into port unhindered. And this is a means by which we can protect ourselves, and ensure that we can put our forces wherever we need to at the right time in the world. Because it's a hybrid propulsion system, we can go at very low speeds on our electrical propulsion while detecting submarines while they can't detect us, and then move very quickly through the water on our mechanical propulsion. So shared infrastructure acts as the backbone for the whole of the ship. What we're doing on Type 26 is taking that next step along. So a shared computing environment allows us to host multiple different systems and display it onto common consoles, such as the sensors, the weapon systems, the comm systems, all sitting on the shared infrastructure. So the workload on the operator is so much easier because he can access everything he needs very, very quickly. The different elements of the combat system are being developed and tested alongside the shipbuild program. This is a major de-risking exercise for the platform, so that when the ship is ready, the combat systems will be ready for her. The visualisation suites we have at the various sites has just made such a difference to us. On previous projects, we might have spent one or two days every six months looking at the ship's design in 3D. Now we're doing it every day. We are designing safety right at the beginning of the project, before we even get to the manufacture stage. We use the 3D fully submersive tool that allows us to place avatars into the model and allows us to really see what the guy looks like in the space. But not just that, but also his tooling, his emergency rescue. We have considered construction safety, but also that we're not compromising the intent of the design for the customer. You can get a feel of what it will actually be like to walk around the ship, what it will be like to work on the bridge. So it gives you an actual feel for what the platform will be like. It gives us confidence that when we actually go to build the ship, we'll get a design that we can hit the ground running with and we'll quickly and efficiently build this ship. The cutting steel is a really important moment for, for guys in uniform. It can't be understated because it becomes real, it becomes tangible. It is the start of a 40-year journey uh, and it should be incredible. I'm immensely proud that we've got to this point of cutting steel today on the first of class Type 26. There's been a lot of hard work from our teams across the UK to get to this point through detailed engineering, engaging our supply chain, planning for the manufacture of the ships and to get to this point now where we're starting production and we'll see it taking shape over the coming months is very exciting for all of us.